Hi, today I will show you how to survive on a budget in Oslo, one of the most expensive cities in the world. I will show you some secrets, some cool places and some cheap things to do here. Come on! The, the main thing is actually the directions. That's south and that's west. And that's a no, no zone for buying things. You can go over there, but you cannot buy, you can only see. On, that's our main street, Karl Johan, and that's east. And that's a dangerous area, but it's not. It's cool and it's cheap. And I think that's the place you need to go to survive on a budget in Oslo. Come on. Here we are at the main street, uh, Karl Johan, and this is the street to see all those important buildings and all the important historical stuff in Oslo. Behind me we have the University Aulan, and if you are interested in theatre, over there you have the uh, National Theatre. If you want a ticket there, well, you will be robbed and bankrupt. So uh, you have to, uh, you ha we have to go down the street. Find the river, go east. Yeah. Only see, never buy. Stay away from all those centers, those brand shops. Look for Fretex, there you can buy used clothes. And it's real, you can buy uh, a sweater like this, a real Norwegian wool sweater. In the tourist shops, it will cost you a fortune. Here it's quite cheap, so that's a good advice. I'm not sure if you like museums, I'm not too fond of it myself. But inside here, if you do, here you have a special cheap thing. Come on. It's, it, this is amazing actually. Here you have it. It's uh, one of the most famous paintings in the world just like Mona Lisa in Paris. And on Sundays, you can come in here for free, actually. Okay, that was enough high culture for today. And we are heading towards the river, towards east, towards that cool, young, vibrant place. Okay. Uh, we are going over there, that's the east, that's where the river is. But before that, we'll have a pit stop here. And I will show you a place where you can have sightseeing, where you can have a free meal, and where you can go to toilet free. Come. I will recommend you the opera. Not for buying tickets or eating there, super expensive, but to feel like you're on a Norwegian mountaintop, on ice and all that frozen stuff that Norway is known for. Super sightseeing possibilities. It is ice, and it's nature, and it's nice ice skating. And it's free? And it's free. A nice tip to save money in Oslo actually is to bring your fishing equipment. <laughs> it sounds strange, but here in Oslo we have clean water and we have a lot of fish in the sea and it's actually free to fish. So you can have good quality fish for free. Okay, before finding the river I have to pee. At the opera? This is free actually. Lovely. Uh, when I'm finished here, we are going to the river. And uh, you will find out where you can stay, where you can eat and drink and mingle and all that stuff. We are getting close to the river and as you can see, the whole atmosphere and the people, they have changed. Uh, totally. And uh, on this side of the city, my family from northern Norway, they don't dare to come here. They are afraid. Uh, don't go to ordinary shops, grocery shops. Go to this one here. Cheap food. Cheap fruits, vegetables. Over there you can see the river. Soon we'll go across it. But here, you have the uh, cheapest hotel in uh, Oslo. It's like 85 euros for a double room. Well, there you have a hostel. 
where you can share room with other people and then it will be uh, not so expensive. I, I can feel my heart beat. We are closing up to uh, the river. Now uh, I will take you inside Oslo, to the underground Oslo, to the places that you will not find in the tourist brochures or on the internet sites or on any places. Because this is like the taboo zone of Oslo. But it's also the cheap Oslo. And uh, <laughs> the, the river. Here it is. It's the river. Arkeshelva. This is your borderline. This is the borderline between uh, cheap and expensive Oslo. Okay, finally we're here on the east side of the river. But, but actually you have some traps here too, let me show you. Up there, cool place called Grinelöka, very trendy, hipster place. Money trap. Up there, Trondheimsvägen. Yes, that's a cheap road. Come on, and I'm hungry, I need some food. Let's buy some cheap food. Uh, here at Trondheimsvägen, I know, it looks a little bit trashy and maybe poor, but they have really, really good food, I have to say, really quality food. Foreigner, it's not from Norway, but it's... When you're in Oslo, you depend on food from uh, other countries, like Turkey, Lebanon, the Middle East and so on. But it's so good and it's so cheap and I really, really recommend it. I love uh, hummus. This is nice for uh, two euros, a little bit more than two dollars, you can have a warm, nice burdek. It's so good and it's so cheap and it will keep you going uh, the whole day. Hmm, not stewa. The cool thing about the East End is that you live here, you have a lot of things to experience here and of course if you want to go out, have a beer, have a snack or something, you'll find the cheapest places here. This is uh, Berbersson, uh, they have karaoke, so if you love karaoke, you come here. Actually, we are going down to Greenland, eller Grönland, that's the most cheapest place and in many uh, Norwegians' opinion, it's the most dangerous place. Here. My family would never come because they will think that this is too dangerous, that you would be mugged and raped over there and killed over here. But actually, if you are in Oslo and you want to uh, experience some good nature, some real nature, I will recommend the Akersetra. Because here you have uh, wildlife, you have uh, beautiful scenery, you have the tranquility of the river, so uh, nature come to the river, then you will have it. Uh, maybe you shouldn't be here when it's dark, because then it might be a little bit dangerous. Yeah, so here you can uh, feel the silence, and you can meditate, and uh, breathe some fresh air, you know, that's for free. And if you uh, suddenly you're out of money in Norway, each bottle of this, if you find them, you will have one krona. So uh, if you're broke here, collect bottles. Now, finally at Grenda, here we are. And in, in this area? You find, I mean, if you want to go to jazz bars, you want to go to rap bars, you just want to sit down and have a coffee, you want to talk, you find all the different places here. You find actually up, 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 not upper class, but upscale, and you find downscale brown pubs. So, Greenland, well, to survive on a budget in uh, Oslo, you need to come to Greenland. That's the key place to be. 
And to all of you who haven't been on Greenland and all of you Norwegian too, it's so cool. You haven't missed out on something. I personally, I really love this area. It's relaxed, it's informal, it's exotic, it's global. You meet people from all over the world. Not only Norwegian, but also Norwegian. We are going to the place where they have uh, the cheapest beer. Okay, one day in Oslo, we've been through it all and now we want a beer. Hi. Can I have two beers please? Yes. And how much is it for the beer? Uh, no, I've heard 47. 47? And before 3 o'clock, they are 37. Three and, now it's 3.5 euro for uh, 0.5 liters. That's the cheapest in Oslo. A cool place. I mean, it's of course, it's not the place that uh, visit Norway or anything will list. But I will list it. I like it. I've been here for more than 20 years. And it's a cool atmosphere. You can meet new people. You can talk to people. It's more relaxed. I mean, other places in Norway, they are uptight and difficult to get to know people. Here? I think you will have a fair chance to get some new Norwegian friends. Uh, I hope this has been useful. And of course, we, ha we, we couldn't cover everything. So if you want to know more about places to eat, places to go, prices and so on, it's very easy. You push the subscribe button and then you become a subscriber. You can post a question under here and we will answer you. See you soon. Bye bye.